Sources for a paper or project are often divided into two categories, popular and scholarly. This video will discuss the difference between these two types of sources. A popular source is anything written for a general audience in order to entertain, inform, or to give an opinion. They use common, everyday language, and they can be written by journalists or non-specialists. They usually give a broad overview of a general topic, like the latest political development. Often you'll see lots of advertisements in a popular source. Finally, popular sources don't usually include a reference list. A good example of a popular source is a Time Magazine article or a TED Talk on YouTube. Websites, books, magazines, newspapers can all be types of popular sources. On the other hand, a scholarly source is intended for professionals and experts in a particular area and often analyze details of a particular subject, such as the effect of insecticides on vitamin C levels in apples. Scholarly sources are created to share new knowledge, discovery, or research and often use words specific to a field of study or specialized vocabulary. And they generally don't have very many ads, but they do have a long list of references or consulted works. An article from the Journal of Abnormal Psychology is a great example of a scholarly source. Scholarly sources mainly come from academic journals that have experts analyze and review all the articles before they can be published. Both popular and scholarly sources can be great tools to help with your projects and papers, depending on your research needs and requirements. You can access both popular and scholarly sources from the databases found on the library website.